All right, and welcome back to the uh, Rocco Taco Mining Channel. So yeah, I've been going through a lot of my Windows notes on setup and install, and I thought maybe this would be a use to some people, and I'm sure a lot of people know already how to do this, and there's many ways to do it, and this is how I do it. And what is it? It's the uh, Windows Auto Login. So when the system boots up, reboots, it goes right into Windows, bypasses the login screen, auto login, boom, you're in. And I like it because, you know, you're doing a lot of installs, you're doing a lot of updates initially to get the machine going. And uh, I just want the thing logged in, man. I just want to get in there. I just want it running. I hate freaking logging in 30 times, all right? So I enable it. So what you're going to be doing is some uh, some hardcore Windows registry stuff. It's it's called the RegEdit, the registry editor, and it's where Windows keeps all of its... Um, its uh, special values for setting up system commands and this is not active why does this do this there we go this thing I'm, I'm remoted in guys I'm sorry I'm remoted in and I think this kind of honkers up sometimes so what you want to type is R-E-G-E-D-I-T and I'll post all this stuff below and I'll post it on my blog as well and it's called registry editor click on that so it's type in the run menu the run window reg edit R-E-G-E-D-I-T Yes, I do want to run it as admin. You should know that, or you want to make changes. Yeah, of course you're going to make changes. Sometimes they put a little too many confirmations, and it's like, come on. Just stop the craziness, man. Just give me the window I want to change. So this is called the registry editor. If you're uncomfortable doing this, don't do it. Uh, but if you want to have window win login and you're kind of a little bit savvy with Windows and you messed with registry editor, you should have no problem with this. So the first thing you want to do, it's all directory based, folder based on when, where stuff is stored, you know, under what directories the settings will be placed and all that crap. So right here on this line right here, you see this, it's like a URL line, but that's actually a folder directory path. You want to go to your HT local machine. And what you do is it's all, I already went there, but you can um, cut and paste also into that line. Uh, let me this. you know what? Let's max. Can we maximize this? Kablamo, oh, so much better. So you see it's this line up here is your directory path and here's how you click to it. You wanna go HP local machine. Next you wanna click on expand software and you keep drilling down. It's, it's kinda of crazy. Uh, let's see, software, Microsoft Windows, so software, then Microsoft. See all the crap they put out there? It's, it's really kind of interesting. Uh, all the stuff they've got. And we want to go to Microsoft Windows NT. I don't know why NT. Is N Windows NT even still around? I'm so confused. It's like, it's like naming their Xboxes. Weren't they all named different things? And there's no rhyme or reason. At least PlayStation is one up. PlayStation 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Xbox, their naming convention. And even their operating system convention. It's just, it's, it's all messed up. It doesn't make any sense. It's almost like they don't know what they're doing. I don't know. So we got Windows NT, you want to go there, and now you want to go down and find current version right here, and you can um, expand that with the little carrots, you know, expand that down. Now you want to scroll down and get one more level, and uh, you want to go down to, what is it, Win log on, L-O-G-O-N. So sometimes you spell log in, L-O-G-I-N, and it's log on, L-O-G-O-N, but you want to go to log on, boom. Click on that little puppy, and um, you'll see on the right over here all the uh, name value pairs, the registry entries for that folder are right there. And you'll see up here at the top is your command line as well. See that? That's where you are in case you get lost. And you can always cut and paste that whole line and save it. If you want to save it into a note notepad and so when you come back in here or save it some common place, you update another machine, you can just cut and paste it in there. Blammo! You're in that folder. Otherwise, you gotta look at your notes and drill, drill, drill. You know, keep mining your way down to that folder. All right. So what you want to do is you want to create a string here, and you want to name it. I've already done it, but I'll go ahead and do it again. Let's go into is it file? I bet it's not file. Hold on. Oh, come on. New. And you want to do string right and in this string right here see that you're gonna type i'm gonna show you what you're gonna type 
auto admin login with camel case. Camel case is capitalizing the first letter of each word, but the words are stuck together. Does that make sense? So it's auto admin log on, right? Boom. You do that, you hit enter. I've already done it, so I'm just showing you how you make that entry. So let me get out of this. And that was a temporary one. I'm just getting rid of it. So I type that in, and here's, here's what it gives you. I already made that. It's a text one. And you double click, and then you make sure it's set to one. It's going to be defaulted to zero. So when you open this, you're going to see zero. You want to make that a one, which is true. Boom. Kablamo. That's the first one you make. Now rinse and repeat. Let's go in and you say, um, you can even right click, new, string, just right click anywhere. And now you want to type in default username. You know, type in D-E-F-A-U-L-T-U-S-E-R. Again, camel case crap, capital D, capital U, capital N for username. So you did that, I already did it, so I'm just, ignore this part, I'm just cleaning up after myself. So that's up here, you typed in default username, then you want to open it. Blammo, it's going to be empty. Just type in the name you set up that you log in as, like Joe, Timmy, your, your whatever that username is of that Windows box you made. And you, you specified that name when you installed Windows. It says make a user. You probably put your first name or your last name or your comment, whatever. You know, I put Rocco. So, right, Rocco is the name. So, you put that in there. So, that's in there. You say, okay. You're all happy. Now we got just one more to do. Oh, you got to put the password in. So again, just right click, new, string value, get the little text box, and you type in here default password. Got it. All right, type that in, hit enter, return. Ignore this. I'm, I already did it, so I'm just going to clean up after myself. And I'll show you. Default password, there it is. Double click, and it's going to be empty. So double click, and then type in your password. So mine is my dog poops a lot, right? So you type in your password that you set when you installed Windows. And of course, it's not protected. It's in the registry edit, so it is what it is. Your password's out there, but I don't know. It is what it, you know, you, you, you assume the risk, whatever. So I put it out there, and that is it. Um, if you see anything called auto login count, again, login is spelled L-O-G-O-N. I don't know, it's spelled L-O-G-I-N some places. I'm just confused by that. So if you see auto login count, and I do not see it, so you'll see auto login count. If you do see it on your system, just delete that. Like I was deleting those temporary ones I was making, delete it. You don't need it. Uh, and that's it. That is all you, everything you've done right now. And when you hit enter, it's there. So all you have to do is go up here to file. Boom. Exit. You're done. And then all you do is restart. And then when you restart Windows, it's going to go right into Windows. It's not going to give you, it'll show the splash up of the login screen. And then log in. It'll go away and then it's going to put you right in Windows. Sometimes it's really quick. You don't even see the login splash screen. It goes right to Windows. Um, I guess it depends on your draw app. I don't know. Sometimes I just see it, bam. You know, Windows is loading, boom. There's a, then, there, then you're in Windows, no login at all. But sometimes I, I would see the, um, the little Windows login dialog for a brief second, then it goes away, then you're in Windows. And that's all there is to it. I do it a lot. I do it for most of my machines just because I want the thing to boot up and be ready to roll. I don't want to keep, keep hacking in my uh, user password every time. There's just nothing on these boxes anyway. They're bare bones. There's nothing other than the mining stuff and the driver stuff for the uh, GPU cards and the CPU stuff. And that's it. There's nothing on it. Uh, there you go. I think that's it. That's the only thing I got to do. There's probably other ways to do this, but Windows 10 keeps changing stuff. There used to be the way to go into the uh, properties and the system services and change stuff on the user accounts. And it's like not even there anymore. It doesn't make sense. It's like, well, wait, what? And it would never work for me. So I just said, I'm going to go in the registry editor. Because when you're in the registry editor, you're basically beating that, beating that thing like a running mule. You're saying, I want you to do this. And you're going to do it. 
you know? So that's, that's why I use the registry edit. So there's a quick and dirty way um, how to set up auto login on a Windows 10, Windows 10 uh, box, home edition. All right, hope this helps someone. I just, again, I ran across my notes today. I thought, man, I had trouble with this initially. It was an annoyance to me. And I always kept forgetting where my notes were and I have to go search again the right steps. So I've actually documented this on my blog and I've actually put it in this video also for documentation. That's why I do these videos, just to document my journey and all the stuff I'm learning as I go through this uh, crypto mining stuff, which is pretty fascinating. Uh, a lot of hands-on, I love it. I'm a software dude by trade, but I love the hardware stuff, the server stuff more. So that's it. Go for it. Give it a shot. You're not going to really hurt anything. Um, let me know how it turns out. And if you know of any easier ways that work, not something that was on a Google page that's two years old and doesn't work anymore, let me know that something that works and is current. Because you try stuff you see on searches, and it doesn't work. And po most of those dialogues aren't even there anymore. It's like Windows updates have just changed so much in the past couple of years uh, some of those old help notes are not even uh, applicable and that's why I don't like doing Windows updates anymore I'll update the drivers I need like NVIDIA and AMD and I'm happy but I, I just hate when Windows will just automatically update my system and that was my previous video where I show you how to go in and basically disable that auto update, Windows auto update service. And I just disabled that thing. I said, no, <laughs> stop it. Stop it. Like whacking it like a, like, like whacking it on my nose. Stop it. You know, stop pooping on my workstation Windows, or Microsoft, stop it. So yeah, I like total control over the machine as much as possible. I'm a Linux guy by trade, you could say, by career, majority of my life has been on Linux. So when you're in the Windows, I'm always afraid of Windows because it's like a black box. You don't know what the heck they're doing under the th scene. But thank God there's a registry edit so you can find the stuff you need to set and force it to do it. You know, that makes sense. All right. All right, guys. Go forward to great things. Uh, another DIY video. I have nothing else going on right now. I'm just watching my stuff mine. Doing Raptorium mining, doing uh, Ethereum mining. All, everything's now on ETHash, on Ethermine right now. I always want to... I just want to, what do you call it? Stack some ETH coins because everything's down, down, down. We're in a kind of little bull pullback. And if the thing goes up, I just want to be stacking Ethereum, even with those crazy, ridiculous, annoying gas fees just to move money. Ugh, stop the madness, man. They got to fix that. Uh, that's it. That's the update. Go for two great things. I will see you guys later. I'm out.